Yo, here we are again with Yoker Skateboards. Today we're gonna explain three advanced skateboard tricks. I hope these hints and tips help you. You go out and land these tricks for the first time. Number one, the tray flip. Now the tray flip is one of those tricks that can be done a number of different ways and different styles. It's gonna be somewhat similar to the burial flip. But I think the key is to not worry so much about the kickflip part of this trick. I had trouble learning the physics behind this trick at first, but once I figured it out, everything kind of come together. This gets a little bit tricky. Now if you position your front foot slightly towards the back side of the board, and your kick foot, your back foot, towards the front side of your board, the pressure from your weight will help the board do the kickflip motion as you pop the tail. It should only take a subtle touch with your front foot as you jump to get the board to do the kickflip. You can kind of even pop a tray flip with just using pressure from your feet. Another thing that really helped me with tray flips is actually my back foot. Instead of throwing the board in front of me, I learned to kind of pop and push the board towards the back side at the same time so the board stays under my feet instead of jumping off track. Number two, the impossible. One of my favorite tricks ever. It was one of the hardest tricks for me to learn. It took me forever, but once I learned the motion, it almost seems so natural, it's hard not to do it every time. You can obviously practice this trick while you're standing off your board using one foot. You can also do a step off variation. There was one thing that really helped push me to the next level with this trick and helped me land it for the first time. Instead of trying to push the tail down and underneath my board to get that vertical spin, I would let the board tip just momentarily to the side with my back foot, just for a moment to easily get the scoop under the board. Practice makes perfect with this one, but when you get it, these are so nice. They feel so good to land. Number three, we got the hospital flip. This is not the most conventional trick. I think for one, foot placement is very important. Hospital flip is kind of a swagged out Casper flip. The way I started to learn it is I actually let the board sit on the ground and I would just tip the board over with my foot onto my toe and then flip it back over like a half an impossible. I practice it on the ground and then practice it in the air. And I think I've gotten better at it by just learning where my feet should be. And I've learned to just kind of like keep my foot near the front truck, but back just a little bit. Also, just use my toe to stand on the front foot directly in the center of the board. That board will flip perfectly onto your toe. But yeah, I'm telling you, this trick is awesome. That foot placement is so important. These are just the hints and things that really help me. I'm happy to be able to help you guys learn these tricks. Go out there, help other people learn these tricks because there is nothing more amazing than landing your first tray flip or learning your first impossible or landing your first hospital flip. It is one of the most amazing feelings you will ever have in your life and I guarantee it. So try these tricks out and I hope this helps you. We appreciate you so much as always. Myself, Pico from Pico Skateboards. I'm here with Yoker Skateboards bringing you another video. Stay tuned because you know we're coming back with another one soon. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed that video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that notification bell so you guys get notified for our future videos. We drop videos every week about skateboards, longboards, and everything else in between. So if you guys want to learn more or just want to say hi, you know where to find us. Peace.